Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and today's video is five things that you can do with the control button. And I have probably done a video on each one of these, but I thought I'd kind of put them all together. And there's more things you can do than just these five. Some of these are really important. Some of them aren't so much important. But these two keys on your keyboard, the comma and the period with this, you know, sideward V, I don't even know what that does on the keyboard. But if you'll select on your text and hold down your control button and hit your period sign, it'll turn your text right side up or downward. Now, this isn't vertical text, but if you were writing down the side of a frame and you wanted to do it and to put it back, you just hit the comma. Control button with the mouse. If you wanted to move this rectangle just above that text, you can hold down the control button. It will not let you go left or right. It'll only go straight up and down or until you get to the left and right point, And then you can go left and right, but you can't go up. So it's going at right angles. Now this one I use quite a bit. I call it the control pick. These items are all grouped together. There's four items. But I want to move that star over here, but I can't. First of all, you could ungroup them all, and I'm not saying that that would be a bad thing in this one, but if you had a really complicated map with riverbeds and contour lines and you didn't want to move them whatsoever, you can, before you click on the item, hold down your control button and click on it. Then you can let go and you can move it wherever you want. You can even delete it, but those three items are still controlled are still grouped together so you haven't messed up anything. Control in the rectangle tool. Grab your rectangle tool, hold down your control button, and it helps you draw perfect squares. It, if you don't hold down your rectangle button, you can make any size rectangle you want. But if you want a perfect square, hold down your control button. Now this one I've used quite a bit. If you have text and you're trying to size it. So right now we've got, we'll make it 160 points. And we want to go, let's zoom in here a little bit. If we want a hair bigger, well, the only way to go a hair bigger would be to change it to 161. And then every time you type that, you'd have to look at it. Well, with these arrow keys on your keypad, the numbered keypads, not the ones up top, the F numbers, but your keypad numbers. If you'll hold down the control button and hit number two, and if you'll watch right up here, it's going down one at a time. 58, 57, and you can see the same thing, and it's kind of smart at Corel. This one's going down, This one, the eight is going up, so you're actually making the, the, the text up bigger by one. Now, if you go four to six, if you go six, you're making it 10 times or 10 points bigger each time. And if you use the four, it'll go back downhill the 10 points at a time. Anyway, that's five things that the control button can do for you. Hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.